All eyes will be on Ottawa this week as the federal government tables its latest budget. Much of what is included has already been shared, but some surprises are expected Tuesday and more details on the overall price tag behind the pledge. CTV's Raheem Ladani reports. Over the past several weeks, the federal Liberals have been teasing bits of what to expect in the upcoming budget. The wave of pre-budget announcements, part of the party's strategy to market their policies. While affordable housing is a priority across the country, uncertainty remains surrounding who Canadians want to fix it. You wonder whether even if people like this package that Trudeau and the Liberals are putting forward in the budget, which will come down in full on Tuesday, whether people want it from them. The Trudeau government has announced tax breaks for developers who build rental units, increasing the amount Canadians can withdraw from their RRSPs and a shift in how government uses public lands to build more homes. Along with those, there will also be non-housing related pledges when the budget is tabled in the House of Commons. They're also going to announce some enhancements to the PharmaCare program, the dental care program. There's a new school lunch program, a billion dollars for school lunches to make sure good nutritious meals are happening in schools. Finance Minister Christian Freeland has promised the government will stay true to the fiscal guardrails it pledged last fall, including capping the deficit at $40 billion for the current fiscal year. She's also ruled out new taxes for the middle class, but there is belief the budget could include hikes to others to pay for programming. We may see some high tax brackets for very wealthy Canadians, or we may see this idea of an excess profit tax on some corporations. They've been quiet about that. That could be the big surprise come Tuesday. With the next federal election still over a year away, this is not an election budget, though it comes at a time when the Prime Minister is facing strong criticism for continuing with the carbon tax, while many Canadians are struggling to get by. The Canada carbon rebate did increase earlier this month, but policy watchers say they'll be looking closely to see if the Liberals announce other ways to put more money in people's pockets. Is there going to be anything in the budget that gives that kind of right away relief to people so that um, they're, they're able to feel some, some of that burden get, get lifted more quickly? At a time when the cost of living crisis is being felt from coast to coast to coast. Raheem Ladani, CTV News, Toronto.